let's face it, we all have a lot of downtime right now. And if you're a person that needs a gig or a goal to continue improving your voice, this might actually be a really hard time for you right now. Remember, your voice is a muscle, and if you don't use it, you lose it. And face it, you don't want your voice to fall apart just because you have a lot of downtime right now. So today, I wanna to give you five tips to keep your voice healthy and in shape during downtime. <laughs> Hi, this is Matt from RamseyVoice.com and Ramsey Voice Studio, and here are five tips to keep your voice healthy. Now, we're going to start off with the very obvious one. You want to practice good vocal health. Um, you want to drink lots of water. You want to avoid smoking, avoid drinking things are, that are going to dry out your voice like alcohol and too much caffeine. You also want to avoid allergies and perhaps some foods that might cause you to have some acid reflux, things like spicy foods or too greasy of foods. And of course, you want to get lots of rest. All of these play an integral part of your overall picture of vocal health, and they keep your voice healthy even during downtime. The second thing that you want to do in order to keep your voice healthy is you want to warm up your voice. Now, I actually recommend warming up your voice at least five times a week, but don't worry if you're not there yet, just start small. Now, one of my absolute favorite warmups as a vocal coach is the lip trill. And it's really simple. All you do is you take your two fingers, place them on either sides of your cheeks, and you're not pressing, you're just kind of gently holding. And you let your lips flop together like this. It's gonna feel and sound really silly. And what you can do is you can do some really, really kind of slow vocal sirens, like a from low to high. You also want to practice scales that are going to promote a lot of flexibility in your voice. When we have a lot of downtime, oftentimes our voices kind of get stuck in like one register. Uh, we'll tend to sing kind of like in the lower part of our voice uh, and just hang out there. But you want to practice scales that will actually improve your vocal flexibility. Now, I actually recommend the octave and a half scale. It's one of my absolute favorite scales, also known as the Rossini scale. It's an octave arpeggio on the way up and it's a dominant fifth arpeggio on the way down. And it kind of goes like this. You can practice it on the lip trill, like. Now that's it for the guy's key. Ladies, you might find it more comfortable to do it right here. Great job. The third way to keep your voice healthy during downtime is to do vocal exercises that address your specific vocal issues. Now, let's say that you're in a screamo band. That probably means that you're used to singing really, really pressed, really, really tense. In which case, doing like a and other really silly kind of yawny Oh, kind of exercises like that can help you decompress your vocal cords. On the other hand, let's say that you're singing really breathy and light. I'm in love with the world. Really, really light and breathy. In that case, you might actually want to work on exercises that will help you engage a little bit more of those low notes in your voice. Something kind of like maybe like a ga 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 just to keep those parts of your voice moving. Now, the fourth tip in keeping your voice healthy is to sing songs and break down what's not working. Now, this is important all of the time, but especially right now that people have a lot of downtime with their singing, it's a great opportunity for you to take a look at your songs or the covers that you're performing and actually break down what's not working about them. Now, most singers will train to sing songs incorrectly. And what I mean by that is they'll just sing a song a hundred times over and over and over again, and it's not getting any better. In other words, they're not actually focusing on the parts that are problematic. However, it's so important that you do that. Now, let's pretend that you're trying to sing Stay With Me. So in the chorus, he goes, Oh, won't you stay with me? But unfortunately, I'm singing in falsetto. So instead of singing in falsetto, you might actually want to train that rather than just repeating that over and over and over again, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Stay, stay. It's not getting any better. You might want to think about breaking down the part that's not working and actually improving it. Maybe even do it on a vocal exercise. So rather than having stay with me and having a big break in there, maybe a stay with me. 
will sound a lot better. And my fifth and final tip for keeping your voice healthy during downtime is to record yourself and take note of what's not sounding great. Well, let's face it, I mean, we all sound differently to ourselves than we do to other people. So if it's been a while in between gigs and you're not really getting that feedback from an audience about how well you're doing, it's incredibly important to record yourself, listen critically, and work on what's not working in your voice. The bottom line is it may be a while before you're in a position to be gigging as much as you were before or even going out for gigs in the first place. However, it's super important that you don't stop working on your voice. So continue working on that. Now guys, if you found these tips helpful, make sure to check out my YouTube channel at Ramsey Voice Studio or go to RamseyVoice.com for 10 free singing warm-ups.